All right, this is what was updated on the engine, the water flange. Thermostat, there's a new thermostat in there. This hose was replaced, and really that's it. So the whole gear case assembly had to come off. Old one, old water flange came off and then got bolted back on. The gear case goes back on, and now it's not getting up above 1900 RPMs. I changed out the primary and the secondary fuel filter. There was hardly anything in there, and the fuel pump does appear to be working. And then the secondary fuel filter was changed out also. The throttle assembly in the cockpit and down here are both going to max, so I don't think it's that. And then I've checked every fuel line in here, tracing it down, and nothing is crimped or broken or anything, and nothing appears to be leaking. So I'll do a power up now. Still having the same issue, only going up to 2,000 RPM. So I'm going to do two ounces of seafoam per gallon of diesel, and then I'm actually going to fill my primary fuel filter up with seafoam to flush it through, just to see if there's any carbon buildup on there before I start going crazy. And then I'll let it run for two minutes, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm going to go motor for 30 minutes to clear any uh, carbon or whatever off. That's what Seafoam recommends. All right, all Seafoam in there. Looks delicious. All right, filter back on, that's all Seafoam. I'll start it, bleed it, run it for two minutes. Just wait for that ticking to slow down on the bleeding, and then we'll fire her up. All right, this is the seafoam going in. Two minutes. All right, 10 minutes is complete of it just sitting there. I'm gonna go motor for 30 minutes. I'm not so sure this is gonna work. I've been motoring for about five minutes, but she's stuck at 1900 RPM. So I think I'll do the 30 minutes and then just change out as many of the rubber hoses on the little fuel injector lines as I can. I don't know what West Marine's got in stock. Sailboat race is going on. Still at 1900 RPM. Gonna dock it and keep working. Last thing I wanna point out is that he did drain the oil, but it's the same existing oil filter. I can't imagine that would have an issue, but I don't know, maybe that's worth changing.